Dr. Michio Kanko is warning Nibiru Planet X and the universe solar flame. Now willing to alert the public about Planet X to hit Earth any day now and how it will affect this planet. Article September 27, 2016. NASA has confirmed what ancient civilizations warned about thousands of years ago. Nibiru, or as it is translated, Planet of the Crossing, may be a heavy mass object, HMO, in addition to a dark star that is part of our own solar system. All of the hype that happened in 2012 has muddled the waters of what these ancient societies are actually writing about. Their calculations indicate that this heavy mass object, HMO, will enter our near solar system in the year 2017, next year. It swings past the sun and is sent out in a slingshot fashion to deep space once again after that. In one of the first reports, this heavy mass object, HMO, was measured at 50 billion miles from the sun. Less than a decade later, NASA gave the following update. Notice the distance of 7 billion miles. This report is 20 years old. Such a climate change, extinction of species, and indeed for that matter, asteroid impacts by the very local real asteroids. Most of these are very small. We are far from likely to predict, predict a 100 meter or smaller one, but that's still large enough to be very bad news for any country. The difference is we know what these are and can do something about them. So I'll talk a little about the very real asteroid threats that we should be concerned about and the amazing progress that astronomers have made already detecting them and what they could do with enough funding. Earth changes have been increasingly dramatic. Since 2012, all earthquake and volcanic activity is on a phenomenal rise. Volcanoes are now approaching 40 eruptions per day. The Nibiru Planet X system and its potential impacts on our solar system. This is what Joachim Hagopian writes, September 6, 2015, speculating and theorizing about the existence of yet undiscovered planets in our solar system has been bouncing around for centuries prior to each new discovery of another outer planet has come detection of anomalies in the erratic, inexplicable motions of the outermost known planets of our solar system. For instance, before Neptune's existence was determined, for decades astronomers had been theorizing that Uranus, discovered in 1781, irregular movements may have been caused by the presence of yet another undiscovered planet. Indeed, that was the case in 1846, when Neptune was first sighted and identified. The now dethroned ninth planet Pluto, discovered in 1930, relegated in 2006 to minor dwarf planet status, and Pluto's later found moon Charon, Charon were then used to explain the observed wobbles in Uranus and Neptune's respective orbits. Thus, errors in calculating precise positions of known planets hold an enduring pattern of later confirmation of cause determined by each newly discovered planet. Hence, for over a century, scientists have debated that yet more major planets and dwarf planets belonging to our solar system are still out there in space waiting to be found and existing anomalies to be explained. Way back in 1940, Chilean astronomer Carlos Munoz Ferrada predicted accurately that the powers that be would attempt to cover up planet X when it comes barreling towards the Earth. Ferrada referred to Nibiru planet X as a, quote, comet planet, end quote. A comet planet because it has the size of a planet but speeds the elliptical orbit of a comet. Every government in the world has been warned about this comet Nibiru, the elite's deadly plan, death of billions before event. The most controversial undiscovered planet operating within our solar system, dubbed Nibiru or Planet X and now a new name Planet 9, was made infamous or famous in 1976 by noted researcher, author Zachariah Sitchin in his best-selling book, The Twelfth Planet. As one of the few scholars able to read and interpret Sumerian clay tablets, 
Sitchin utilized those ancient texts to make a highly plausible cause for the existence of Planet X, also known as Planet Nibiru, the destroyer in ancient scripts, coming closest to planet Earth every 3,600 years. The Sumerians lived over 6,000 years ago in what is today Iraq. They are credited as the first known civilizations on Earth, inventing mathematics, writing, agriculture, law, schools, astronomy, and astrology. The Sun in our solar system is similar to 90% of the solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy, all part of a binary star system containing two or even more suns. The Planet X system can be considered a mini constellation consisting of our sun's twin classified a brown dwarf star called Nemesis. This dark star is largely invisible even with infrared due to its surrounding red iron oxide dust clouds. Nemesis possesses at least three planets that revolve around it, Nibiru and Helion, both with moons, and Arboda. Though Nibiru travels along an elliptical shaped orbit and enters our solar system approximately every 3,600 years, one by one crossing the orbits of our solar system planets, it does not revolve around our Sun. In 1990, researcher author Zachariah Sitchin interviewed the supervising astronomer of the U.S. Naval Observatory, Robert S. Harrington, to discuss Harrington's recent discovery of the Red Planet X. Harrington set up a special telescope at observatory in New Zealand to track Planet X, but the renowned head of the Naval Observatory suddenly died mysteriously at the age of 50 of a rare form of cancer under suspicious circumstances. His wife is convinced he was murdered for allegedly leaking too much information about Planet X. Yet two years after the Sitchin Harrington interview and just months prior to Harrington's January 1993 death, a NASA press release was still publicly embracing Nibiru Planet X as real. Unexplained deviations in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune, they said, point to a large outer solar system body of four to eight times Earth masses on a highly tilted orbit beyond seven billion miles from the Sun. Also in 1992, a confident NASA scientist named Ray T. Reynolds went on record proclaiming, quote, astronomers are so sure of the 10th planet, they think there is nothing left but to name it, end quote. NASA at that time did everything but scream Nibiru from the mountain pops. But ever since Harrington's untimely death, with few exceptions, the lid has been tightly sealed on any more accurate information released by mainstream sources directly to the public. Apparently, the U.S. government had made the decision to keep Nibiru and its pro projected earthly destruction under wraps. In recent years, the feds have sent out trolls to disseminate information, disinformation, and false propaganda in attempts to debunk any would-be truth-tellers. The elite ensure that hired shills are planted to busily churn out concentrated disinfo campaigns smearing lies to prevent the story that never quite goes away from ever having full disclosure. The effects of such a large celestial body as Nibiru Planet X, estimated to be from four up to ten, eight times the size of Earth, re-entering our solar system is getting off the chart internet frenzy in 2015 convinced it will cause enormous amounts of huge sized space debris from an asteroid belt, potential comets, one recently cited to be two and a half miles wide, and countless meteors plummeting violently towards Earth. It's believed that the impact of such giant objects crashing into the Earth will push the reset button for another egg axis tilt, likely causing yet another mass extinction and radically altering global climate zones, raising sea levels dramatically to reshape coastlines worldwide, decreasing land mass, and increasing oceanic water surface. In addition to tilting the Earth's axis, it's speculated that Nibiru's gravitational upset and electromagnetic fireworks on our planet will set off mammoth cracks in the tectonic plates resulting in never-before-seen killer quakes, volcanoes, tsunamis, tidal waves, hurricanes, record winds, massive flooding, and tornadoes. 
you can uh, read now on a link here in this article, leave now, Obama says, America must submit to the New World Order laws at a UN final speech. The Earth has been getting hit by asteroids and comets for its whole life. The planets formed from collisions of smaller objects and even our water may have come largely from comets. Heavy bombardments may have continued until as recently as 4 billion years ago, making it difficult for life to get a foothold at all. So what are the odds today? There are a lot more small rocks than big ones. So while Earth is constantly being hit, accumulating over 100 tons of matter every day, most of this is in the form of dust or tiny sand grain sized meteors that appear as shooting stars. By comparison, school bus sized asteroids may hit every thousand years or so. Medium sized asteroids, say 300 meters, may be once every 50,000 years, and extinction level events only every billion years. And those estimates are going down. So, how big is big? In reality, it could be very, very small compared to Earth. The dino killer is estimated to have been between 5 and 15 kilometers across. That's about 3 to 10 miles across. That's large compared to the rocks in your backyard, but tiny compared to Earth. To lead to a global catastrophe, an asteroid or comet only has to be big enough to launch large amounts of dust into the atmosphere. That leads to the abrupt change in climate that wipes out species. The Planet X effect is setting the Earth up for a coming pole shift. The world's elite know this is coming. This is why they have prepared underground shelters, sanctuaries and seed vaults to keep parts of the world. In deep parts of the world, global elites prepare underground cities. Planet X Nibiru begin to harm our Earth this month. Scientists are keeping a close eye on the meteor as just a minor change in his flight path could have catastrophic consequences for the human race. Experts say if the asteroid were to smash into Earth, it would create an extinction level event, meaning humans are toast. The impact would equal the explosion of 3 billion atomic bombs, triggering effects similar to those that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Conspiracy theorists are in a state of panic over this incoming space rock. Most asteroids pass classes near Earth by NASA fly by it at millions of miles away, but a space rock 2500 SZ2 due to day is essentially to be on an orbit of just 309,000 miles, only 1.3 times the distance from Earth to the Moon, which is 238,000 miles. So that's pretty close. Significant asteroids pass Earth every week, and NASA monitors them up to 12 million miles away, so this is considered a cosmic close shave for Earth. The cosmic skim comes straight after a while predictions were made online that a huge space rock would strike Puerto Rico by the end of this month, something that doesn't appear to have materialized. Fears become so widespread a rock may be about to strike that NASA took the unusual move of issuing a statement ruling this out. The most unsettling pass was a monster 270 meter space rock called 2012 TT5, one of six near-Earth flybys between September 22nd and today, when online doomsday prophets claim the world could end. What are your feelings about the possibility that we will experience a deep impact in the next 72 hours? Do you think that NASA or the government would warn us, or would they hope it passes without being noticed? Quote, being prepared is a perfect move, always a perfect move towards living an enjoyable life. You need to prepare for both success and failure simultaneously. I'll leave a link below for you for this article, and also the video by Dr. Kaku. Nibiru, Planet X, and the Universe. Thank mm -hmm. you.